Yeah. Welcome to the Word of God Church, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We're excited that you can join us, whether in person, watching online nationally, or from around the world. We extend our heartfelt gratitude and thanks for choosing to celebrate with us here at Word of God Church. We believe that anything is possible when we gather in the name of Jesus. So let us lift up our voices in worship. Give thanks for his boundless love and grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How's everybody doing tonight? Gentlemen, how are you? Are there, are there any gentlemen in the house tonight? <laughs> hey, there they are. They, 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 they're they a little slow, but they're here with us tonight. Ladies, how are you all tonight? Well, we want to thank you and welcome you to our uh, monthly Wog Night of Worship. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you watching online. Uh, man, how many of you know that God's always watching and looking out for you? Always. You know, I, always. Sometimes, there's sometimes I forget that, you know, he's always watching. He's always looking out for you, but he reminded me this week. I got, uh, a lot of people call it luck. I call it just God watching over me and protecting me. I was headed, was headed back from Amarillo this week, and, uh, I, you, I'm a creature of habit. I usually stop the same place every day, every, or every time, about the same time. But uh, I stop in Elk City on my way back because it's about halfway between here and Amarillo. And uh, the exit that I stop at is a. They, it's not a mile. It's not saying hey, a mile ahead is your exit. It's actually a half mile marker, which is kind of odd for the state of Oklahoma. But anyway, I'm no more past that marker than uh, my low pressure light comes on on one of my tires i was like i need some brand these, these tires are less than six months old and i just steady watch it it did 19 15 12 10 i'm like apparently i ran over something but i had enough air in my tire to exit where i normally exit at instead of having to sit on the side of the interstate with semis whipping by me <laughs> i had enough air in my tire to get up to the gas station where i always stop at and take my time and be safe while I change my Amen. tire. Amen. And that was just, a, you, a, as it happened, and as I'm pulling in, I was like, okay, God, th thanks for reminding me you're still there, man. You know, it's, I, I know you're there, but it, it's always it's always nice to have that reminder, knowing that he's there watching out for us, looking over us and loving us. So I just, I say that to encourage each one of you, don't, when you have something happen to you, don't look at it as a stroke of luck. Look Come at on, it as a blessing from God. Because that's what it truly is, is this God watching over you. You're not lucky, you're blessed. So, Father God, I come before you tonight, and I thank you for the blessings that you pour out. I thank you that you're ever-present. I thank you that you're always here. Holy Spirit, we just invite you in right now. Come in, take over, have your way. Let us feel your love tonight. Let us praise you and glorify you more than we ever have before. And just have your way in this house. In Jesus' name, amen. Sounded good. Let's do that again. Let's give him one. Amen. Yes, Isn't he good? Amen. Been an awesome day. Amen. Been a blessed day. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. I kind of missed my cue there. Good evening, church. Shout out to you out to Mississippi and Corpus Christi. Pastor Felix, we miss you. We wish you nothing but a speedy recovery, a health recovery, and wish that on you in the name of Jesus. Amen to New York and all of our campuses globally. I know this ministry has blessed your life, so call us up and let us know so we can pray with you, for you, and Jesus can work through you. Amen? I heard two amens. Amen? This is a special time because tomorrow the words were said, he is not here, he is risen. Amen? But what he did on that day, I love Pastor Lisa says that day, he went to the cross with each and every one of us because we are enough. The devil said that we are not, but he proved him wrong. Amen. Amen. Have we prayer requests from Sarah McCory, Justin's grandmother. She has a heart, a heart transplant coming up. Heart, heart camp. Okay. Lord God, we ask that you be with now our grandmother. 
we stand in agreement with Justin. His faith will complete this ministry of healing her body. But give him comfort in knowing you are who you say you are. And your promises are yes and amen. Yes and amen. Amen. So, Grandma, we see you soon. We see you healthy. We see you strolling around, doing what you do according to God's plan. In Jesus' name, amen. We have a sister, my stepmom, needs prayer for COPD. Amen. And in the hospital. So, look, I'll be asked that your breath breathe into her lungs, into her body. We know what you can do. We've seen it. We've seen cancer disappear. We've seen diabetes disappear. We've seen COVID disappear, pneumonia, anxiety, suppression, oppression, and depression. So Satan, all of those things you take back with you because you are a liar. And all of these prayers go up to our Lord. We leave them at the foot of the cross. You go back to those dry places and take everything with you. We slam the door shut and I will profess this until it is no more. In Jesus' name, amen. We're prayerful that our sister Macy, the um, young lady from Thomas, Oklahoma, she sat next to you, Pastor Malba. She prayed the whole way to North Carolina that her son would come out of prison. Mason, we prayed for him. She sent a picture to me with her son in the car. He's out of prison and on his way back. So we pray that he will come into the praying mother, the praying wife. We have not forgotten about our brother, Freddie, who is coming home, by the way. You hear what I'm saying? He's coming home. And his seat is still warm. And Freddie, we love you. Your wife is in position, your mother's in position, and your children, because you are the head of the house. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give him praise. Amen. Amen. I heard, I heard such an awesome thing this morning in deliverance about the thorns in the putting the thorns of, of Jesus on the top of your head. I said, give me those thorns. Amen. You know, let me say one thing. You know, that cross right there represent that man now for all the healing within us. Cancer, he, uh, thoughts, uh, back, the, the, the whips on his back. It represents something. The nails in the hand. It represents our healing, amen. It represents the healing of these people we just prayed with, amen. It represents the healing in our families and loved ones, amen. It's such a powerful thing to know that he resurrected on that day just for us, amen. That he paid the price for us that we may be healed, amen. Healed of anything and everything, amen. So give him praise. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It's time for our tithes and all. It's time to give, amen. Amen. Y'all should have been dancing and shouting this praise and worship thing. I said it's time to give, amen. Hallelujah. Don't make me get rough up here, amen. It's time to give, amen. <laughs> amen. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. I'm going to release the ushers. Hallelujah, Jesus. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Amen. And let us not Come on. grow weary or doing good. For in due season, in due we season. will reap. If we do not give up, Amen. some Bibles may say faint. Amen. Come on, don't give so in other words, when I look at this scripture, I say, don't get bipolar. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Real to true life story. You know how we go up. And we come down, amen. And we sow, let's keep sowing, amen. Don't change up, don't switch up, amen. Don't switch the amount, don't switch up giving, don't switch up, don't switch up planning for God, amen. What you gonna give, amen? If you keep sowing, don't get bad. You know how people get bipolar, amen. Man, I'm tired of getting, man. I gave the other day, man. Come on now. Just come and just took yourself all the way back down because you didn't got bipolar, amen. <laughs> Don't get bipolar on God, because God knows, amen. Giving should be giving should be regular, amen. We should be giving regularly, amen, in order to reap. Amen. In order to reap. 
And we're going to keep giving so that we won't faint. Amen. That we won't faint. What you sow, amen, will bless you. You'll be blessed, amen. Because he said it in his words, that you'll be blessed. I'll open up the wonders of heaven and blow you out a blessing that you cannot contain. Amen. If we don't give up, if we don't get tired, we don't get weary. I don't care whatever it is you're doing for the kingdom of God. Amen. If you start out doing it, keep doing it. A lot of people fall, fall at the wayside, amen, because they stop, they start slowing up. And you hear our pastor always preach, one day you're on fire for God, then the next day you want to watch online, amen. If you're going to come to church, keep coming, amen. You're going to praise and worship God, keep praising and worship God, amen. You're going to pray for some people when you're out there, keep praying for them, amen. No matter how many times them people get weary on us and give up on us and tell me, y'all just came here last week. And that wasn't nothing to us. Amen. <laughs> keep coming. Amen. Amen. So we want to keep on. We want to keep on keeping on. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what, what comes up, we want to keep on doing what we were doing. Amen. Because if we keep doing what we're doing when we came here to come here, because we came here tore up from the blow up. Amen broken, amen, and what got us back right, amen, was him, amen, being obedient to his word, amen, so we want to keep continuing on, amen, keep paying our tithes, keep giving our words of encouragement, keep loving, keep sowing, good seed, amen, that way we can reap a harvest, amen, so let's pray with our Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the offering, Father God. We thank you for each and every man, each and every woman that gave tonight, Father God. Father God, we ask that you bless them, Father God. Bless those that weren't able to give, Father God. Bless them so that they'll be able to give the next time, in Jesus' mighty name. We just thank you for our church, Father God. We thank you for our pastor, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the praise and worship that's been to go down tonight, Father God. We thank you for the food that's being served by you. Yeah, Father God. We just thank you for all things. We thank you for our health and strength and being able to be here tonight, Father God, that we can praise and worship you, Father God. And Father God, we just love you and thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's go ahead and stand on up and Hallelujah. get some praise and worship in, amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
the ashes of defeat, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your Spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. Yeah. It's resurrecting. Resurrecting me, yeah. It's resurrecting me. I can't, you know, 
is lost. Lead me to the cross where your love poured out. Bring me to my knees, Lord, I lay me down. Rid me of myself, I belong to disciples that were in there supposed to be lifting him up to be armor bearers they could not sleep for even one hour oh my child if you can't pray if you can't sing if you can't read your bible for an over an hour there's got to be something wrong there's got to be something wrong where's that hunger where's that thirst where's that fire Jesus. Oh yeah, he had so many times, so many chances. But my Jesus says, he said, I will go. And it's, it's amazing to see in the Old Testament the foretellings and the foretellings of Jesus. thousands and thousands and thousands of years earlier before he came he was prophesied in his birth his death and his resurrection Make me 
house of prayer. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out.
praising and exalting one Jesus Jesus His name is Jesus Spirits like, like water, water to my soul. Your word is a lamp unto my feet. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Jesus. to man and he became a living soul. Father, we cherish those moments when we get to walk with you and talk with you. To lay back against your chest and hear you breathe. And hear you breathe.
this world to me. I would trade you for silver and gold. I would trade you for riches and gold. You are, you are my Turn your life around in that midnight hour. He's the only one that can calm you the, the peace in the storm. That's my God, and He's died and He's risen, and He lives for you and me. Hallelujah. Give Him praise in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I wish I had some radical praisers in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love that song about that you wouldn't trade him for riches untold, for silver or gold, right? I know two ladies in the scripture. I'm coming out of um, the gospel of Matthew 28. Zoe, if you can put that up there. Matthew 28, I'm going to read 1 through 10. Just continue to bask in the presence that's in this house. Let me read this over you. Now late on the Sabbath day, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the spectacular. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled away the stone and, it, and sat upon it. His appearance was lightning and his raiment was white as snow. And for the fear of him, the watchers did quake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that you seek Jesus, who hath been crucified. And he is, he is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come see, come see. I said, come see the place where the Lord lay. And he go quickly, and he said, and go quickly and tell his disciples he is risen from the dead and lo he goeth before you into galilee there shall ye see him i have told you let's keep going and they departed and quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran 
to bring his disciples word. And behold, Jesus met them. I said, and behold, Jesus met them, saying, all hell. And they came and took hold of his feet. I said, they took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then saith Jesus unto them, fear not. I said, then Jesus said unto them, fear not. Go and tell my brethren that they, go and tell my brethren that they departed into Galilee and there they shall, there and there shall they see me. God, we just thank you for your word. God, we thank you, Father. Let us be like this two women, Father God. Just like the angel of the Lord said, I know who you've came to look for. And I know every one of you in this house tonight, you came to look for Jesus. You came to worship Jesus. So God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. I said, there is power in the word. There's power in his presence. There's power in the blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. You know, I'm reminded of these disciples of the 11 and their state of mind at this moment. Their state of mind, it's re reflective of some of the times where our state of mind is and our focus is. And it's not on Jesus church they were afraid they were in fear of the Jews and they were upset because Jesus was gone he was dead have you ever been in a hopeless situation have you ever been beside yourself in a place of desperation and a place of uncertainty I'm here to tell you something. These two women, they came looking for Jesus. And I'm here to tell you something. You come looking for Jesus and you're going to find Jesus. You're going to find him. And the Bible says that they were just beside themselves. They were off focus. And I'm here to tell you something tonight. The church needs to wake up. The church needs to wake up. And I understand that emotions, they flood us like tidal waves. I understand that our thoughts, I mean, they become paralyzing at moments. But don't be like that cat. You know how many of y'all have cats? Anybody know what a cat? I know the homegirls know about cats. Anybody been around a cat in your life? I've never been around a cat because I'm allergic. But I'm here to tell you something. Don't be like a cat because this is what I was told, Julia, and you can tell the truth about it. But cats, you'll put a ball of yarn in front of them or whatever, and they just get all of that. They just start getting just so dazed and da 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 And they focus on that ball of yarn. I mean, an earthquake can be happening. The house can be robbed. And they're just da 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 The cats just, what is it about that cat and that ball or the, or the yarn or whatever? And they just stay, stay. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Stay focused on Jesus. Do you hear me? I said stay focused. This is not the hour to be like a cat. Amen? And don't be distracted like a cat. But you keep your eyes on Jesus. The Bible said, David, what does that scripture say? That I keep my eyes on the heels, on the up. From where comes my help? Come on, somebody. Lift your heads up. Amen. Quit looking down. Look, put your heads up. Because your salvation is up here. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you that Jesus is alive. The angel of the Lord says he is not here. He's not here. And he was on a mission to go make connection with his disciples to let them know get out of this little kitty cat days that you're in oh come on free get out of it hallelujah snap out of it wake up and 
the mighty name of Jesus. Man, I feel like a campfire tonight. It's Holy Ghost fire in this place. Thank you, Minister David. Thank you um, to Lacey, to everybody, to the praise team. There has been an assault on the praise team. You, you already know. We're coming out. On you, We're coming too. Out. And it's, yeah, you're coming out. Yes, you're coming out. In 1 Corinthians, the Bible says, in the night when Jesus, our Lord, was betrayed. Anybody ever been betrayed with a kiss? In the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And the Bible says that Judas kissed him, and that's who they knew. They knew that who Jesus was because of that fatal kiss and that fatal betrayal. But I'm here to tell you something, that Jesus had to become a sacrifice for us. It was inevitable. And the night when he was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. A symbolization of what was about to happen, that his body was about to be broken from every, on every crevice for you and me. He is simply saying, like Minister David started out, he's the only person that's prophesied his death. And the Bible says that his body was pierced. It was unrecognizable. The crown of thorns was embedded into him. Blood flowed. He was whipped at the whipping post. His beard was... He was savagely attacked. It was a horrific death. The Bible says that he made his way to that hill, to Golgotha, to the hill. And he made his way up there. And every time he was felt like he couldn't make it, every step, it hurt just to breathe. And every step, was agony and he said I gotta do this for Scotty run I gotta do this I gotta do this for Kim I gotta do this for Jessica he had you on his mind every step of the way no matter the agony and the pain and trust me he tried to get out of it on the gar at the garden of Gethsemane okay he tried to say Lord is there any other way but then he said quickly, nevertheless, I'm sorry for that little moment I just had. Nevertheless, your will be done. And he went all the way up to the heel, the Bible said. And he took that last breath for you and I. And the skies grew dark and a voice came from heaven. And Jesus utters those words that many of us as Christians hold so dear. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He asked for forgiveness for us, for mankind, for humanity. Forgive them for they not know not what they do. In his dying moments, He gave us his mercy. He gave us his love until it exhausted him. A lot of people say that he didn't die of all that, but he died. Um, the Bible um, or some of the scholars say that he um, died of a broken heart. Some people say that his um, he, he was a... Um, some type of officiation or something when his diaphragm or something collapsed I don't know but all I know is that he did what he said he was going to do and he did it for you and for me and on that night he took bread and he said take eat this is me this is my body God had to put an earth suit on God had to come in the form of a child 
He said, take, eat. This is my body, which was broken for you. Let's do it together. Amen. this is my new covenant it was founded and built on his blood the bible says it's better, better. this is a better, covenant. It's a better covenant i just saw something that they're about to slaughter some red bulls or red cows yeah. heifers whatever yeah. mm -hmm. it's kind of a weird name heifer <laughs> I'll, I'll stay to bulls or cows let's not say heifer i don't know i feel like that's just a that's just a downgrading they, name they, they Probably because somebody's called me that before, amen? <laughs> God bless them, amen, whoever they were. I really don't know. But thank God that for his blood. Yes, his blood. He paid a very high price for us, amen? He ransomed us back. He took back the keys of hell and the grave. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He snatched him right out of the enemy's hand. He defeated sin. He crushed the serpent's head, amen? And he did it for you and I to give us back our authority, to give us back our original standing in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, and no longer that we have to put blood of goats and bulls and doves and whatever pigeons or whatever. But now we have his blood on our life, amen? He says, do this in remembrance of me. Let me. Let's say this together. We remember. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out on worship night. This has been so incredible. I can already. And Taurus, if you want to come up here to lead us in prayer for our fellowship. But. I know tonight, and also maybe there might be somebody that needs to get saved or something. Let's, we don't ever want to leave without that. But thank you guys for being a part of our worship night, the presence of God. I can already tell tomorrow morning is going to be lit. Amen. It's already been primed. It's been primed already, okay? It's been primed already with your worship with your praise amen so thank you so much for coming please don't leave we got chili dogs and everything in the gym so come out there and be a part of our fellowship okay we love you guys god bless you jesus hallelujah jesus yeah. Yeah. agree And all will see how great, how great is our God. The splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice. Wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? All will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. 
sing with me how great is our God and all will see how great how great is our God age to He's a wonderful God. He's worthy of all praise, all worship, all honor. It's, man, it's a great thing to reverence him every day. I mean, as soon as you wake up and before you go to bed, in the, while you're sleeping, if you wake up, thank you, Lord, for waking me up for that second. I'm talking about constantly when you're working, when you're just exercising, cleaning the house, it doesn't matter. Give thanks and honor to God. Man, it's a wonderful thing when you're just tapped in. Before we close, I want to ask there if there's anybody that needs prayer. Anybody that needs prayer, we'd like to pray with you. If there's anybody in the house that want to rededicate themselves, or if they just want to give their life over to the Lord, man, feel free. We'll, we'll, we'll come into agreement with you and lead you to the Lord. Is there anybody in the house? Anybody want to get some prayer? Prayer? Anybody else need prayer? Where's my other prayer? Uh-oh. Where'd Danny go? He left?
Jesus. Father, we just thank you. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to praise you tonight. Lord, we just know that praise is one of the highest forms of worship, Lord. And we honor that, Father God. We thank you for what we thank you for what Jesus done on the cross. We thank you for his resurrection. We thank you for the blood that was shed for each and every last one of us when we didn't deserve it, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the tomb being empty. We thank you for being a God of the living and not a God of the dead. And we honor you, Lord, for that. Father, I ask that you bless every person in this house as they travel home. You bless their rest tonight. Lord, you bless their bodies. Remove any type of pain, any infirmary from them right now in your precious name. Lord, I pray that you bless our online viewers touch them right where they're at at home bless them right now and Lord we ask that you just bless tomorrow's events Lord as we celebrate the resurrection so that you bless every family, every child hallelujah and we thank you Lord we need you right now Lord we need you right now and I pray in your precious name Amen. All right, so um, being that we have the gym set up, we're just going to be able to just grab what we have back there and be able to go home.
Um, there won't be any fellowship because we can't go and sit at the tables. <laughs> but we still got to feed your belly. But we got food to feed your belly. All right. Thank you all for coming.